I've always said that relationships in this business are the most important. You know, a lot of people have got it in their head that, you know, you can do private label or wholesale or whatever and just sit behind your keyboard and, uh, you know, click on websites and buy stuff and not talk to anybody ever. But that's about the worst thing you can do. Those businesses fall away very quickly. And, you know, just recently, Amazon changed its policy for bundles and pretty much said that if the bundles are not approved by the brand, you can't sell them. So anybody who's creating those bundles is wiped out now unless they have a good relationship with the brand, permission from the brand, and can move these bundles and sell them under the brand's name. So huge. So relationships is key in e-commerce for sure. For some of us who start an e-commerce business, we're like, oh man, I, I quit my day job because I didn't want to deal with Dale in the cubicle next to me. I wanted to you know, sit in my basement and, and, and wear a cape and do my thing and just bam, build this business. But guys, that's the difference between that $25,000 a month business and a real business that you might try to exit someday or you may try to, you know, autopilot where you can take some time off is that now I've I'm, unfortunately I've had to become a CEO. I've had to become a relationship manager for my key partners. And I just, I can't say this enough. Uh, the guys that are in my mastermind always get a huge return on their investment, spending a little bit of time. And you might be shocked at how little time this takes. Like if I could take a banker out to lunch once a quarter, and if I could try to have like monthly calls with my important suppliers, maybe every other month, depending on the relationship, but actually talk to them. And then maybe once a year, go fly and meet with those suppliers, spend FaceTime with them, let them see that you're for real, that you're not a, a you know, kind of a hack job. You are going to get preferential treatment. And it's kind of the same with the banker. You're going to need a loan next year. And the guy's going to push your application to the top because you've done the work to develop the relationship. The wrong time to develop a relationship with your banker is at 2.30 in the morning when you're in the fetal position, praying that you can make payroll tomorrow, right? You got to do it in advance. It's the same thing with your suppliers. Yeah, it's a, it's the most important thing in life, really. I mean, if you look at anybody who's wealthy, they're going to have a very big network that they're connected with and have relationships with. And if you want to be successful in any business and in life in general, you got to develop those and nurture those. I think we're in a world right now where people, because of everything is online, everything is instant, we don't really develop those uh, connections anymore and relationships. At least people feel like they don't have to. But if you want to be successful and grow, it really, in the end, comes down to who you know a lot of times, who you're friends with, and who you've built relationships with. We agree. 